field at their own 20 after a Blue Raiders interception. Batiato, he's been pressured to start this game. Does well to escape the pocket and at least get some something positive out of first down. Yeah, that first series, two press. Jaden Credle the carry, trying to slip through that defensive line, bottled up only a gain of two. You mentioned Zach Alley, youngest FBS defense. Cox only send four, but they get right by the Blue Raiders O-line. What a play. Colby back in Blue Raiders territory. Smothers running it again. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Smothers again on the keeper. Dropped by Devin Curtis. Tidville State, they've gotten the ball in great field position to start this game twice. Zero points to show for it. This will be the Blue Raiders' best opportunity. They sent bodies to the ball to try and punt that in, punt block that in the end zone. It started off on a Wednesday night in Murfreesboro. Fatiato on the run, unloads a deep ball. Incomplete. Yeah, a lot of transfers on this Jacksonville State team. Pizent, the junior out of Pensacola, Florida. Jacksonville State showing pressure, only sending three. It's effective though, Vadiato has to scramble, floats it to the tight end, Holden Willis. The coordinator Zach Alley said he feels like he's an NFL type player. We've seen that in the first quarter. Vadiato on the run again. He is brought down, that's a horse collar. Cradle turns up field, met by a swarm of Jacksonville State defenders. Chris Hardy, the first to the four to the far side. Vadiato looks that way, throws that way, incomplete over the head of Javante Sherman. And he had him for a touchdown. He did have Sherman. Defense was tested on the first two drives. They've held a very up tempo Jacksonville State team scoreless. 43 comment to you during the break. They seem a lot faster than South Florida. Smothers took a shot on first down. Couldn't connect with Perry Carter. Defense right back on the field. Smothers throwing on third and ten. Two big hits. Ricocheting out of them. Sean Brown absorbed it and took it. 6'5, 250 pound tight end. Malik Jackson. And we'll look for. And we'll look at Brown here. Just makes this catch right over the middle. It should be tackled. <laughs> Ruined society. South Soul. Smothers throwing on first down. Ball popped out. The whistle comes in. Incomplete is the call. Whistle. And Jacksonville State. Wow. Gets the snap off so quickly that no time to review yeah, it. Because they went so fast, we play didn't stop. Let's take a look here. Football moves. Games. High snap, fielded well and pitched out. Treadle trying to turn that corner. Game of three. He just couldn't quite turn that corner. Picked up. Louisiana Tech on ESPNU. You know, other than that 42 yard big play they had, I believe, my math right, it's about 20 plays. Play clock under five on a third and seven. Batiato swings it out. It's caught. DJ Riles needed seven. Back to ESPN. Drop the puck. Crossover season continues. Here's Malik Jackson. A huge hole opens up. And the transfer from Louisiana Monroe runs. Three yards on first down. That was a nice one. We've got a quarterback switch for Jacksonville State. Zion Webb running it here. Down the sideline. Webb. No one in front of him. Tackled from behind in State. This is what the Gamecocks can do. Three plays into the end zone. Touchdown, Malik Jackson. Now the Gamecocks have had a quarterback battle throughout the five games of the season. Rich Rodriguez said Logan's lightning quick, one of the fastest teams in all of college football. It took until the second quarter, but you really saw it on that last drive, Rita. Yeah, and they feel like they have two starters in Logan Smothers and Zion. Right in. 7-3 lead here as they kick it away back to Middle Tennessee. 
pulls it out, and then look at the block. He got 17 with a nice block, Sean Brown. And look at the receiver, number one, Sterling Galban on the outside. Excellent blocks. Middle Tennessee with an opportunity to answer. Daddy Otto drilled at the line of scrimmage. Quarterback has now worked his way as the starting quarterback. Gets it out quickly. Jeremy Tate Jr. The reception. He stopped just shy of the first down. Gain of eight. To the line on a third and two. Batiato play action. Pressure coming. Throws on the run. Wide open for the first down. A big hit after the catch. Olsen help. First and ten. Blue Raiders. Batiato calls his own number. And another great open field tackle. Jeremiah Harris, the safety coming up to make that. Batiato. Pocket collapsing, scrambles again. Thaddy Otto, the redshirt sophomore quarterback, he has been scrambling. Good with his feet. Throws it quickly over the middle, another big hit. And now a decision, fourth and two, what do you do? Larry Worth, number three, comes up, makes the hit. It was a big hit. You don't really you know, see anything there other than you know it was a big, hard hit. I mean, Worth, we talked about the big safeties for Jacksonville State. He And they, you know, the medical professionals, they have to take their time and stabilize him, make sure that's football, you know, over the middle. He held on to the ball. So unfortunately, it's hurt. You said it right before the break, Stewart, a hundred and father, right, to these guys. And you just don't want to see him get hurt, especially to this degree here where you got to take all these precautions. Uh, they are really the best at their jobs. We see it, you know, all over the nation. and taking their time, doing a good job. Switching back to football after something like that. Some trickery on fourth and two. Fake the run through the football. Inside the five, DJ Rock. High snap into the belly of Pizan. Rumbles into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. And then all of a sudden you go out, you got a trick play on fourth down, you execute it perfectly, and then you give it to your big back, Frank Pizan. Get those shoulders square. Good push by that offense. The waiting time, and this is fourth down. They come back off the field, an excellent job. DJ Riles, slide him down the slot. Good play fake by Nick Badiato. And kick it right to him. Has to backpedal and watch it out for a touchback. As QB1. Benched in that second game, but they still believe a lot in Webb. Handed it off there, no gain. Action. Middle Tennessee, a three-point lead and the ball. Daddy Otto taking a shot right on the money. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. Secondary, eye discipline. They look in, and Metcalf goes right by him down the seam. Excellent throw by Daddy Otto. You see, Twinch, and Metcalf goes right by him. Throw and catch, and just like that, Middle Tennessee on the scoreboard again. Back to back. When Kellen Stewart, redshirt sophomore, went down, had to be stretchered off, we've just been told that he has arrived safely at Ascension. He calls for the fair catch again. So let's see what Jacksonville State can do to start this third quarter, trailing 23 to seven. We Here's Webb throwing quickly, batted down in the line of scrimmage. Great job by Quindarius Dunnigan to get a paw up and bat that down. And we Empty set, pressure coming, Webb throws, incomplete again. Tipped. At the line of scrimmage for the second time on this drive, and for the fourth, the fourth batted down ball by the Blue Raiders defensive line. Middle Tennessee starts this drive from their own 35 yard line. Take the pitch. Vadiato looking downfield. Down he goes. Loss of five on the sack. This time they run it. He's hit, lost his footing. Hole opened up for him. And that's.
Jones with a big back. Sometimes, you know, you, you try to get too fleet of foot, right? Dadiato, pressure coming. Rolls left, throws, double coverage, it's intercepted. Picked off, Kakora Tarnu. Reggion Bennett, his first carry goes for no gain. Coming in, relief of Malik Jackson, who was on the receiving end yeah. of the targeting. So, yeah, Bennett will get some carries here, but again, good put. And now he's the starting quarterback, the redshirt sophomore. Handoff, Cradle wrapped up, it thrown down. Loss of two, Chris Hardy. He has been active on that defensive front. Is Hardy. Third and five, pressure coming. Battiato gets rid of it quickly. Couple of missed tackles, and Middle Tennessee converts. A third and five, Olsen. Target tonight, more than 80 yards to his name. Battiato escaping pressure, throws right on the money. Tiptoeing the sideline. Elijah Metcalf, his third. Pressure coming. Quick release again, a hurdle. Olsen couldn't keep his footing, but a gain of nine. And that's one of the things Middle Tennessee's done is quick. Cradle trying to pick up the two, won't get it. And now what do you do here on a fourth and two? Yeah, I, I just think on your side of the 50, I mean, you're at the 43. You got to punt. Middle Tennessee has alternated punters tonight. This is Miles Tillman's turn. Trying to pin him deep, it bounces into the end zone at Jacksonville State, only down. Here's Jackson, trying to push that pile, doesn't break the plane again. Yeah, he's short. Brumfield made the stop, kept him out of the end. Through the air. Rolling right, throws incomplete over the head of Michael Petway. And he had Petway in that corner route. Hook seven on the season. For the lead from 43. Drills it. Right. Batiato steps up, buys time, throws incomplete. Tried to find Pizent on the sideline. Yeah, you know, you got Jabari Mack. Tough snap. Hauls it in, rolls left, throws on the run, floats it, high in the air, it's caught! Great grab, Holden Willis! Second and 11, Barriato flips it, incomplete over the head of Pizan. Yeah, it's just Jalen. Barriato, pressure coming, in trouble, escapes right. Heaves it across his body. It's caught. Peasant. Play action. Intercepted. Chris Hardy rumbling, bumbling. Down inside the 20. Anwar Lewis tangled up there, only a gain of two. Sets up third and one. And obviously you want the touchdown, but a fit to the line. One of the fastest tempo teams in the country. Webb on the run. He's down to the two. Yeah, just a speed sweep, right? With Zion Webb and by the fact that the... First carry of the night. Did he break the plane? No. Third and goal upcoming. Drew Francis saved the touchdown. And this is... Evans, untouched, into the end zone, touchdown, Jacksonville State. Jinx them, the way they're playing football right now. Jacksonville State has scored 31 unanswered. What a second half it's been for the game. Middle Tennessee in trouble. They led this game 23 to seven, now trailing 38-23. They've been stuck. On 23, this entire second half, and now running out of time. Midway. Batiato steps up, rolls right, breaks a tackle. Decides to dart out of bounds. Positive yardage on first down. Excellent on third down tonight. 
But Middle Tennessee converts. They go to Metcalf, Mr. Reliable, who has two touchdowns tonight, moves the chains. I remember. Low snap, Batiato in trouble. Pressure coming, spins out of a sack. Now decides to run out of bounds, drilled. Four down territory for sure for Middle Tennessee. Batiato throws, incomplete. Bad snap, Patiato, nothing he can do. Jacksonville State delivers with pressure again. It is very well going to be five and one. Big hole opens up, short of the first down though. Lewis on the carry. Anwar Lewis the carry there. Final timeout, October 16th, noon Eastern time, exclusively on ESPN Plus. Ball bounces out of bounds on the punt. And then we mentioned those midweek games, 19 of the point in time that had a 99.9 .9 chance of losing. They came back and won. They've got a 100% chance of winning this game. Another defensive play. Scoop and score. Curly Young. One back to road wins. And they host Liberty next with a chance to become the college football story of the season. Without that fumble going the other way, yeah. they'd be right in this game. And Middle Tennessee might have fallen on it. Certainly had a chance for it. Who is at the bottom? Anwar Lewis. Gain of seven. Lewis trying to kill this clock. He's run nice. But the fact that they're about to be five and after six games they're one game away from bowl eligibility again they're not eligible unless there's not enough eligible teams at the end of the year